a lot of great ways to enjoy South Florida living, but one of the best ways is definitely on the water. Today, we're at one of the largest boat shows in South Florida, the Miami International Boat Show. We're gonna go check out this amazing boat show with tons of boats, both inside the convention center, and they have five other locations where some of the boats are out in the water. Let's get started. Hey everybody, I'm Paul Meeches Paul, your favorite South Florida YouTube realtor and guide to South Florida living. Welcome back to my channel. So today we're at the Miami International Boat Show. This is a fantastic event that takes place every year down here in Miami. They have it set up in about five different locations. So you have the main convention center here where there's a bunch of boats and gear in here, like this electric all electric check this out the boats 100% electric that's pretty cool you'll see a lot of stuff like that at the show today um, electric jet skis there's a lot of new technology and uh, and then they have a lot of the mega yachts and everything that are out on the water um, it's a pretty big event and it's spread out pretty far so I'll do my best to cover what I can today I'm just down here for this one day uh, covering it for uh, you know my channel but uh, a lot of cool stuff and uh, it's nice and cool in here, so we're going to go check out the inside where they'll usually have some of the smaller boats and then eventually um, we'll get out down and take maybe a water taxi and go check out some of the larger boats that are actually in the water. So let's go ch check out this awesome show. on pretty much everything so if you're wondering what an all-electric boat will cost you it sets you back about three hundred thousand dollars but that's a really cool boat because it's made with like cork as well so it's very green you know it's electric and uh, the materials so uh, very environmental friendly uh, we need that we want to keep our South Florida waters nice and clean for you guys to come down and enjoy so all right let's go watch the rest of the show here So Wave Runners have come a long way since the XL700 that I had. I had a Yamaha back in the day when I was younger. We used to ride that thing out. We had a blast on it. I mean, they've really changed. This thing is totally rigged out for fishing. Uh, you got rod holders. You got a you know ice chest in the back to hold your bait. Um, I've seen a YouTuber who uh, he goes out and does a lot of fishing like this. It's really cool, and he takes his jet ski out and goes fishing all over. Um, he even did a really cool video where he crossed over the Gulf Stream over to the Bahamas. But uh, yeah, it is pretty awesome. So you know they they're not just the old jet skis and, and you know uh, wave runners that we grew up back with in the 90s. They completely changed them. But uh, they, they got anything and everything. They're pretty awesome. And of course they got the fast ones. Somewhere around here they have an electric one. I'm looking for that. I heard that they have an electric jet ski. So I'm trying to see if I can find that. Now you can go out and get a big boat like this one behind me, this beautiful Boston Whaler. Uh, what does this say? I think I don't know how big it is, but it looks to be a little over 35 feet. That's a great boat. But what's amazing is one of the smallest boats they ever have. This little 13-foot Boston Whaler is one of the most reliable fishing boats you could ever buy. Um, not only are, are these things unsinkable, but I've been out on one of these with my friends and lots of kids here in South Florida take these boats out. I know the parents will give them a small boat, let them go learn on this, and then they drive a bigger boat. This little boat is absolutely amazing. You can go almost anywhere with this little thing. And I have seen guys go pretty far offshore in these. They're a little crazy, but you can do it. You just want to make sure you have enough gas. By the way, that other Boston Whale is a 40 foot. All right, so this beautiful boat is an Everglades 395 center console. 
Um, this boat's listed at just over a million dollars and it's absolutely amazing. Let's take a look at it. So you can just be chilling out up here. You have these super nice, comfortable seats that lean back. You got cup holders everywhere. There's other seats and storage all around. You've got this canopy top above you. I mean, look at this. On those hot Florida days, man, that is a lifesaver right there. That's incredible. And then of course you got all the stereo speakers and all the gadgets. Let's go look at the console. This boat is really beautiful. So you got these really comfortable seats that just kind of, you know, these three seats here and some more in the back that you kind of sit in. You feel nice and secure. Of course, you can stand if you want. I mean, this boat, as much as it is for offshore fishing and just a killer machine, it's also got lots of comfort, including one that all the women love and a couple of the guys, the downstairs bathroom. Not a lot of space, but this is a great little area to just come out and get out of the sun and kind of chill out. I don't know if it's air conditioning or not, but it's got speakers. As you can see, it's got a TV. And then of course, the most important fact is it actually has a head. So when I mean, you've been out on the boat all day and maybe you've had lots of water or whatever, you definitely want to have that, especially the ladies, they want to have that. So, uh, I mean, guys, they pretty much go off the back end, as we always did. So a boat like this is definitely for the serious angler, and uh, you saw it had those three V8 engines out there with 425 uh, horsepower on each engine. So it's definitely got enough speed and uh, power to get you out to the Gulf Stream and even across over to the Bahamas if you want to go there. But uh, that is a fantastic boat for some serious fishing, but you can see it's really luxurious as well. Nice and comfortable in the bathroom, the little area downstairs. So that's just uh, an example of what you can find here at the Miami Boat Show. That's a beautiful boat. I love Everglades boats, they're amazing. But uh, all right, well, let's continue to go look. There's lots of stuff to see. This whole outdoor thing put on by Progressive Insurance. It's pretty cool. They got places to eat and tables to sit out. But we're gonna go down here and check out uh, this really cool show that's going on with this guy who's uh, playing on this water toy. These uh, hover, I don't know what you call them, but you strap to your feet and you hover in the water, you hover above. It's pretty cool. So let's go look at this.
right, that was pretty cool. That uh, was pretty neat watching them ride that uh, water ride. Uh, I don't know what they call it, but it's with the jet ski and it's got the water propulsion that goes through it. I forgot what they called it, an aqua jet or something. Anyway, it's really cool. Um, Nautical Ventures is uh, one of the vendors that's actually where I bought my kayak from. So my fishing kayak, but that was pretty cool. They have that. And then uh, look at this behind me. You want to get, get a haircut down here, the Ford Experience, you can get yourself a haircut. So uh, I got all sorts of stuff here at the uh, Miami Boat Show. But um, I'm going to go and try and find the uh, bigger boats that are on the water now. We're going to head over and take a bus ride and see if we can get over to some of the marinas and see some of the really big boats. I caught electric vehicles! Woo So obviously having a good sound system on your boat is super important, right? You want to have those tunes playing right out here out on the water. Rockford Phosphate has this van and they'll let you go in and put headphones on and they just crank up the bass so extremely loud. And they have a monitor there and you just see people inside and their head shaking. <laughs> I already have bad enough hearing. I can't go in there, but that's pretty wild. It's a little something everything at the boat show. Alright, so we came over to another section. We had to take a bus ride, brought you all the way over the water past Central Coastal, over to another section where all the bigger boats are outside. And uh, so we're gonna go check this out. Um, traffic's definitely crazy, so it took about 30 minutes to get over here. So I'm gonna film here for a little bit and then I'll have to take the bus back over there because I'm parked over there. But uh, this is where all the bigger boats are. How'd you like that entrance? All right guys, so this is a Viking 58. Now, those other fishing boats were beautiful at the, uh, at the convention center, right? And that's some really nice fishing boats, but these are some serious fishing boats. These are your luxury yachts for fishing, for going way offshore or anywhere you want, I guess, as long as you know whatever the distance is for the yacht. But uh, Viking is one of the leaders in these kind of uh, pleasure yachting, uh, pleasure fishing boats, and uh, this, one here as you can see is spectacular so let's go take a quick tour of this there's other people waiting and uh, the electric door in and out was pretty nice right you had to tell me how to get in I couldn't figure it out but uh, let's go take a look at the uh, rooms down below and we're in the galley right here so let me spin this around and you can check it out Wow, that's impressive. What a beautiful boat. I mean, this is a fishing yacht, right? But you got your nice rooms down there. Uh, for, you know, looks like little bunk beds for any of the kids or whatever. And then um, you got your main salon. You got this dining area. This is an absolutely gorgeous boat. I would be so happy to go fishing on something like this. I love Viking. They're beautiful boats and they're world-class fishing yachts. And uh, just the finishes in here from all the wood and the leather, just amazing. So, well, if you got the money, this is the kind of boat you can find here at the Miami Boat Show. All right, time to leave. Let's go. So you can see each of the uh, 
brokers and the builders have their own sort of little dock area like they had that whole bar and shaded area for their clientele. These people are buying multi-million dollar yachts, so you know, they're going to cater to them. But uh, they have those little sections like that for a lot of the uh, upscale boat builders. And uh, they got lots of these big yachts here. They do have a super yacht section with the really mega yachts. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to get over there. It's just too far and the traffic and it's like you have to take a, a water taxi to get to it. I just don't have enough time. But uh, we're going to continue checking out some of these beautiful yachts here. They got many beautiful boats over here. And then uh, we'll head back to the convention center. You can see they have all kinds of boats here. I mean, look at that one back there. That thing had five engines. That thing is just built for speed. You can see all the seats were leather, just all custom design. Beautiful boat. And did you see the speakers on that thing? I mean, you're gonna hear that boat coming from like 20 miles away. Uh, probably the engine first and then the speakers, but what an awesome party boat that would be to go out on. So um, just a lot of beautiful boats here. Okay, so I thought five engines was fast on the last boat. Six. Just one more, right? Crank it up to 11. Some of you guys will get that joke. But uh, that was, uh, that boat's called Sweet Tuna. And uh, I bet that's a hell of a ride. Love to hear that thing at full throttle with all six engines. Amazing. But uh, imagine the gas. It's like 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. But when you got a boat like that, you're not counting the cost of gas. That's just another toy. you got to have the island bar right you got to have the floating cocktail lounge for everyone to go hang out figure if you're gonna drink enough maybe you'll buy a boat so uh, but all in all it's a pretty awesome boat show um, not as easy to get around as the Fort Lauderdale one but it's still really nice I mean Miami is just a different city altogether a different vibe but uh, what a cool cool show and some amazing boats like this one look at this one right here behind me All right, guys, I wanted to get on one big boat for the boat show, and thanks to my friend Paul with uh, Dennis and Yachts, I was able to. This is a 105-foot, I believe, Azimut, 
Uh, it's just a little bit over $4 million. It's an absolutely gorgeous boat, so let's go take a look. By the way guys, if you like videos like this where I'm showing you South Florida and all the great adventures, the best way to help me out is by doing three things. Hit the subscribe button, that helps the channel grow. Be sure to click the bell so you get notified every time I make a new video. And be sure to check out my website, palmbeachespaul.com. I appreciate your support. Just look at this scenery. Walking on a 100 foot yacht, got the Miami you know, River right here, the Intracoastal Waterway, Miami Beach in the background. I mean, that is just living in paradise. Let's go check out the inside. Hey Scott. Hi Paul. Beautiful boat. Thank you. Um, yeah, it's uh, it won't be over here for a while. It's uh This is living at its finest. I mean, just can you imagine cruising this out and just being out in the Atlantic somewhere enjoying? Just beautiful. And look at this scene behind me. South Florida really is a boater's paradise. Nice and spacious head. Shower here. Pass through over to the other side. Nice little seating area.
another beautiful room. The finishes in the bathrooms, or as they had, as they call them on a boat, just really nice. Just the wood, dark wood, with the light, you know, marble on it um, or granite. But uh, just absolutely gorgeous. This is, like I said, this boat's uh, 105 foot uh, Asbut, and um, it, it's priced a, a little over four million dollars. It's got a lot of people looking at it right now, so hopefully they sell it. But uh, this is just stunning. What do you think, guys? Pretty amazing, right? Yeah, $4 million. Although I think it's going to get sold. There's been some serious buyers, what it looked like. Um, it's funny, one of the guys walking through uh, is from Texas. That's, you know, obviously, if y'all know, I grew up in Texas. So, uh, yeah, Texan looking at this beautiful yacht, right? Why not? It is the absolutely best place to be a boat owner. South Florida, there's boating almost year round, and uh, it's gorgeous. I mean, the water here in Miami, uh, you just you feel like you're in the Caribbean. <laughs> That was a long bus ride back over here to the convention center, but uh, that's it. That is the Miami Boat Show for 2023. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Miami is definitely a uh, vibrant city, as you can see here on this Thursday evening. I got about a 16-minute walk back to my car. So uh, anyway, if you guys like the videos, be sure to uh, click the link for more. And as always, when you're in Florida, get out and enjoy paradise. I'll talk to you next week. <laughs>